I have right here with me President of uh, Computer and Allied Product Dealers Association of Nigeria, Kapdan Ujikutu Adini. Uh, he joins me on the Midday News. Thank you so much for uh, your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. Uh, what the President has said in laying out the budget 2019 is that uh, he doesn't want anyone to be left behind when it comes to the digital economy. Uh, but what are the chances of Nigeria not uh, you know, being left behind as far as digital economy is concerned? Um, majorly, digital economy is um, referred to as um, the new economy. It's referred to as new economy. It could be called internet economy. It could be called um, the new age economy, whereby we do not rely on the oil and gas sector, which is our major revenue generation, but we move to the new um, catch cow, mm -hmm. which, is called the techno which is called technology. So digital economy is using technology tools, using technology know-how to develop an economy. So how does it work? Number one, um, the use of internet, mm -hmm. the use of technology solutions to get revenue for the nation, number one, from, for individuals, and it will now, you know, metamorphose to a macro level, whereby it began, you know, to generate revenue for the nation. Yes, uh, absolutely. I do understand that definition. But the question is, how do we ensure that Nigeria is not left behind, since that is the objective? The solution yeah. is that the president mentioned in his speech that across in the next four years, across 74, 774 local, 774 local governments in Nigeria, that there is going to be a fiber connection which is number one step. Number two step is that capacity building. How do we ensure that cap there is capacity building? I said, um, number one, we have to make sure that if the physical infrastructure is laid, which is access to the internet, access to, info access to information, we should make sure that we develop high number of youths that understand the usage. Number one, web designing. Number two, um, application how to develop an application. Number three, the usage and conversion of technology know-how to an entrepreneurial stage, whereby somebody that knows how to develop a website as a young person would convert that know-how to making money for himself, employ others, and economic would develop. So from that mi micro level to the macro level, you should the nation should make sure that we have these three steps. So number one, mm. we should develop the people, which is the young people, increase the training, you know, and um, there is this knowledge that, you know, I just got. When I went for that, to like, okay, what has the government done? There is this policy, NNIEV, that's um, National Policy on Nation Nigerian Innovation and um, Enterprise Vision. Okay. So this is a vision whereby, how do we convert startups somebody has just developed an application that you could watch um this program from maybe um, a television not just from your mobile phone or how you can get things done simpler if somebody developed that app it's just the knowledge residing in him mm -hmm. how does he convert it to an enterprise that will generate money for him and at long run generate money for the nation mm -hmm. so this policy framework I was part of it. I was invited to be part of that, you know, policy framework with NITDA, that's Office of the Innovation and Enterprise, you know, invited me, you know, sometime this year, early this year. And this framework is to now know that somebody has developed an application. The application is reciting in him in Cardinal or Kafanshan or in Shokoto or in Potakot or in Abekuta. How does he now convert it to money? That is the That is hard. Converting it to money, this policy needed to be followed, number one. Number two, how do we get more people that understand this technological know-how? Training, capacity building, cutting across. There is what is called co-working space. A co-working space is, that's a solution that I'm mm -hmm, providing mm -hmm. now. Um, well, that solution include the uh, six digital villages across the six geopolitical zones that the president talked about. In yeah, the one the president talked about yeah. is at a bigger level. Even mm. NITDA, in what I got to know, you know, is that they want to make sure that there is a, you know, they do 80 per year going forward. 
80 centers, digital centers across Nigeria. Okay. So, but what I will also say is that if these centers are there, more youths will have the knowledge to, you know, from what they know, they will add more value. For instance, in terms of um, hardware solution, if you go to Computability, people can provide solutions and so many other ops. Now, how do we now produce when they can repair anything that gets spoiled in those boards? In a board of any type of this PC that you have in front of you, if anything is wrong with the board, they will remove it, remove the microchips and provide solution. And this PC becomes working. So now, how do we now as a nation try to develop people that would produce their own board from a flat board put the architecture of chipset and memory and develop made in Nigeria how, by young Nigerians. How much will education, in basic education, impact on all of this? I Technology mean, you have, education. You still have uh, a, an education budget that is way below, you know, the global, uh, globally accepted, uh, you know, uh, numbers. Yeah, I think uh, what... The, the, less I, than 7%. I, right I think the direction now is the government wants to give proper and more attention to digital education so this digital education and digital development is a welcome development but it should be directed not just to software development mm -hmm. even the hardware development when you look at the volume although we have made progress okay. uh, wish i had en enough time right. to you know have you explore all of the uh, possibilities. possibilities well thank you so much uh, Jiku to Adini, uh, for joining me on the midday news you're welcome